Hi everyone, in this video I will show you Echovox N8 Pro Plus which has both a vacuum and mopping feature at the same time. And we will have a pros and cons for the time being I have been using this device with a summary and my opinion at the middle of the video. Alright, so let's begin with the cleaning process of this device with the mopping equipment itself. As you can see, it has a mopping pad and also a water reservoir, so it's easy to refill and clean at the same time. I also add a few drops of bleach to help with extra cleaning. Per manufacturer statement, you shouldn't use this kind of products because it may block the areas where it will spray the water. That's why it's your call, but for my case, I have been using it for two months with this bleach idea. So far, it's good, but again, it's your call. As you can see, it's a very basic and simple attachment with the pad and the water reservoir. So this doesn't have a specific mechanism to oscillate or doing so on this device. So it's just a passive dragging system. All right, so let's start here as a quick review with the uh, device itself. As you can see, it's very compact. So I would say it doesn't take a lot of space in a wardrobe that you can have there. And the good thing that in the limitations side of the things, uh, when I was reading the manual of the device, uh, it was saying that it needs at least like two feet from the sides to have a efficient parking later on. But it seems like it's smart enough to find its location and also it didn't cause any problem. So it just uh, uh, parks it itself very easily with no issue. So right now I will just start um, the process. So this will be the mopping uh, phase. So right now, as you can see, I put all the necessary items uh, like water and the also I set up the, uh, the uh, mopping unit. So now what I need is just enter smart cleaning. At this point, this is the map as you can see. So the good thing is that it already set up here. So I can show you later on, but basically it will start cleaning all the area that you see here uh, with the cleaning preference that I set before. So if I go edit, you can see that here, each room has their own additions, like how it will clean the area like one time or two times like here as an example in this location i have two times cleaning <clears throat> with the one level of uh, vacuum so that it can actually start cleaning for this area first and then i have some areas like two times cleaning versus one and i set my uh, cleaning settings for the mopping like as you can see the very wet setting like the here you can see it the last step uh, we can see so that's it and I can go cleaning sequence here so here's the sequence that I have so basically it starts from here and goes to the other rooms right away so let's uh, start the auto clean so you can even say this to Google or you can just do it from here as well so let's now do it from here so we'll just start So basically it will start with the uh, bathroom and then it will clean the wardrobe area, closet area. As you see, it just starts from here. So you can see the water residue behind of it, like how much it's left behind. So for me, this is a good amount. You can turn it down with the setting so as i said at this point i'm using the high level and when i actually do the cleaning water filling part i put a little bit um, detergent as well so that way it's kind of half with the cleaning process so far i didn't have any problem with it so what it does is always it starts with the edges and then mostly goes with the inside of those edges so i see that it's algorithm based on that mostly it's finished the edges first and then goes the inside of that edge that it actually draw there so that's it and you can actually see it right away in the app as well 
like how it cleans up the areas the unfortunate part is that it can't get into this small area so i wish they make this device a bit smaller but i guess the battery versus the effectiveness of this device it's just the proper size at this moment but that's one of the withdraw with those devices so it cleans up very well um so at this point it's in the mopping uh, mode so it does a little bit suction at the front and then it does also the mopping at the behind of it which is the good part so as you can see because i set it for twice for this room so it does it two times so if you think that you just want to make sure it just cleans it perfectly well you can always do like two times for the area you will notice that you see like a little bit like kind of not perfectly wet at the first stage i noticed that it takes a bit time for the um the cleaning pad that it has to get a bit of like extra liquid it takes a bit like maybe first room to finish and then it makes more kind of extra liquid you can see behind of it so yeah at this point it, this mopping system this device has is not active so it's a passive cleaning at the behind so basically it's just uh, drawing that piece behind of it and that's the idea so because it does a little bit extra move like as you can see like turning around a bit extra with this mod so basically it just does it without this active um, system that some other robots has you know some other robots has this additional mechanic system that it makes the sonic um, vibrations to make that cleaning happen but in this one it doesn't have that piece so it's just passive cleaning as i mentioned so it's it's not bad though i would tell if you run it every day this is still good enough to clean the area especially if you don't have like residues that you had from something there like you know very bad level it's just able to clean it in normal condition so i'd recommend for that case but if you kind of want to make sure it mops like very professionally you know sometimes maybe your house has lots of um you know uh, residues around that needs to be cleaned then yeah for sure you will need to make sure you have this active versions maybe one level upper of this one has the ability to have sonic vibrations however the the maximum level of this device has you know basically turning um, equipment for the mopping side so you can consider that one as well but so in this mopping version uh, you need to make sure that you actually remove all the carpets as much as you can so that it can mop everywhere in your house the important part that with the mopping piece it won't go over the carpet area so maybe you can do first regular vacuum maybe every two days and every two days you did the mopping one by removing the carpets around so that way you don't worry about like all the time uh, missing the carpets or missing these some areas with the carpet for mopping piece so yeah basically you can do that way so one day vacuum only and one day mopping version once you put the mopping equipment on it it automatically choose the mopping status and that way it always does it red areas that you see in the map is that actually i don't want it to try to clean those areas in the map sometimes you can see this um, problematic uh, areas like it just has extra false positives like ghost zones we can call it these ones are just because of the mirrors or kind of the surface of the equipments can reflect the special laser view of this device can cause false positives but device is smart enough to not to go there just in case i put those red ones at the top you see it, that it doesn't try to find an area it never happened but it was just my uh, kind of backup just in case and the areas that you see likely uh, you know like with the kind of brownish like blackish like 
strike throughs those are like the carpet areas that it knows as carpet so it won't go over those areas with mopping version you can always click this pause button to pause the device as you see if you need to do something important you can do that piece and you can always return by pressing this uh, power section so it will go back to the area that it actually needs to recharge so resume cleaning now yeah so let's finish this room i will keep recording some of the other pieces and then we can talk about the other uh, important piece in the uh, device side later on as you can see it goes under that tv bench with no issue so that's another good piece that it can clean those areas without problem and as you can see it doesn't go over the carpet at all so it just basically cleans up to the carpet and then clean the remaining floor based on that settings i mentioned so as you can see it finished the j area so that's the entrance and normally i used to have a carpet there i removed it in this one to see if it will actually recognize that change and if it will clean it with the mop which it did so that's a great information so right now it does the kitchen side as you can hear it just a bit again in the second level for the vacuum so it's a bit noisier however it's not crazy um i can still say that it's not actually actually block any kind of tv voice there or something so it's still good one other thing i want to show here is that you know these surface areas that are a bit reflective it can think that it's actually a blocker there sometimes it cannot recognize that distance in a proper way what i noticed in the forum websites and some other uh, people also having a similar problem so if there is any kind of this reflective surfaces in the kitchen you may end up like maybe it's not going too deep to that area thinking that maybe it's a blocker or something so what i recommend if that happens maybe you can end up putting some kind of cardboard or any paper at the front of them when it's cleaning not the best work around but unfortunately that's the case here so here I set it for twice uh, cleaning so it will mop here two times and you can see in the map here that as you can see it didn't go all the way to the oven side and that's one of the problem because of that reflective area it doesn't go very close by for some reason it thinks it's an obstacle so that's one of the information I wanted to give you in that case what you can do versus uh, how you can expect some problems there. You can see here if I go kids room so there was some other blockers before so where you see this blue areas versus purple. So purple area was the first time when it set up the map and then blue areas are the ones that actually I removed that obstacles so that it can actually clean under the sofa and other areas in the room so it find out that room is actually bigger which is good but the problem is the room setup hasn't been updated so there's a problem there in terms of like the room that I set here is still like even though it knows that now room is expanded for some reason that purple piece is not expanded all the way to the blue areas what happens is so if I uh, actually put the cleaning preference and the seconds in a different way and not put this one at the end currently it's at the end it finished the purple area and then it finished the all other sequences in the other rooms and then come back here to finish the blue area so that's a bit problem for me and the one of the my main complaint is that the room that it knows it's already a room and it's expanded somehow it doesn't update in terms of that area to be fully purple other than that, I can definitely say that it has a great app and easy to use UI 
and the map has been created right away with no issue so with the first run uh, this issue i mentioned is more like uh, my case here that i blocked in the first uh, run of this mapping creation so just a recommendation if you're gonna mapping it at the first run make sure you move everything first and then you run it full house then you can block them later on it will be okay other than that i can say google and alexa integration is amazing i definitely love it it's easy to use you can directly clean the house or specific room by your comments i wish there's a have a way to announcement option before entering a room so you know uh, the device is coming into room so you can make some adjustments if you need to auto dust empty is amazing i love it uh, almost two months uh, still there is no warning to clean it up yet and no cleaning for the mop or water system and if you're looking for that kind of automated system you need the x1 omnia or higher models for sure mopping is available i like it it can clean the areas that i'm hoping that it will clean and yeah you know with the simple stains and the dust it just cleans well for the areas with maybe heavy stains you may end up to clean it two times or three times maybe you can set them in the cleaning preference that way you can just make sure it's clean enough but for the you know if, if you have more use cases with the heavy stains you may consider again the oscillating options or the uh, turning version of that devices like x1 omni welcome performance is great so two months i've been using first or second level not the max level so perfectly using for sure and the mopping performance is average as i mentioned uh, so it's okay for me but for you you may uh, not get the perfect result so for the best result i recommend to have it run it daily that way you don't have those kind of stains on the floors and it cleans it uh, in a kind of way that uh, with a soft cleaning so there's no big deal there it, as you can see right now it is doing the purple area so it started the edges of the room and it will finish the inside of that edges that it started there in the algorithm and then it will finish the blue section of that room so let's see in the real life example with the next video so as you see it does the edges of that blue area uh, sorry the purple area of the room so i didn't set it up by myself so as i mentioned the setup itself caused that thing but yeah the good thing is that once it finish all the purple section in the map it will finish the other parts under the couch hopefully so i will just show you that piece So it just finishes that purple area as you see. So that purple section is almost done of the room so now you will notice that it will try to finish that blue section of the room yeah so purple area is almost done just finishing that area okay now you will notice that it will do that other pieces in the room 
You see now it does that remaining part of the room. So that's the problem I was talking about. Basically that blue area is somewhere that is not fully identified. For some reason it still doesn't count as part of the room itself. And now it's just doing that remaining part of the which is the couch area, like the edge of the couch. It just do that cleaning at the end because I put the seconds of this room at the end. So thanks to that it doesn't go to other room just to finish it and then come back here so i make sure robot is here and it finished the actual room that it identified and then clean that remaining unidentified portion without leaving here so that way it's just a workaround i just find out which is helpful so maybe it can be helpful for you guys as well so it's been 48 minutes and the house cleaning is almost done Complete. Returning to charge. so perfect so now it's going back to its location just to show you that you know that two feet rule that it had in the manual is not a requirement so that you know that actually you can put it somewhere even you know with a limited space i guess they just want to make sure it's a guarantee base that you get you need to make sure at least two feet but yeah it's just as basic as just half foot almost like yeah it's very and done so it's completed now i just want to show you quickly if i want to use google for it to clean some area first i want to show that one clean kitchen As you see, it's set up already as the kitchen, the area, right? So when you set up the rooms, you can choose the areas and their name for it. There is no custom way to choose it, but at least there are options that you can set for specific areas as the specific rooms. So the kitchen area is set already. So it does go kitchen from here directly to, to clean the kitchen area with the Google automation. So. You can always use your Google to clean a specific area of your room. And the good thing, it remembers the settings of those rooms. So you don't need to reset them or something like that. Basically, it just moves over to that room to clean that area. 
so it's just going to kitchen to clean that either you can use the google automation there to say where to clean you can also set up some triggers to clean a specific room and the way that you can do it is uh, even flips here so i have a video that i can put the link here so you can use amazon alexa app to help with that automation as you can see now it's in the kitchen it's just cleaning the kitchen area and with the setting of what i said before so as you can see just set for twice here and it will just clean that kitchen area and then it will just finish the task and go back to its location the same way it did So I just paused it to show you another piece. If you momentarily want to make some boundaries and something, you can use those boundary pieces. So you can do the no mop zone by just choosing this and then save it so it won't mop that area and so on. Or you can just do virtual boundary uh, by just don't go that area kind of thing. Okay, now I want to finish this task and I want to show you the custom cleaning so what I want to do I want to just clean this area under the TV let's say so it knows it's in the kitchen now right so it will go back to the living room area So it will do that piece where I wanted to clean specifically. So this is the kind of edge of area that I choose, right? So just looking for the area a bit. Goes around that. Especially, I want to make sure it goes that area and clean that side. Thanks for watching please make sure you subscribe and get notifications with the bell buttons and comments for any questions and new content ideas bye for now